Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book review of Unnatural Death by Dorothy R. Sayers. I decided I'm going to start doing singular book reviews for Dorothy R. Sayers works because I've just got a lot to say about them and I just want to read them all the time. So here we go with Unnatural Death. So Unnatural Death by Dorothy L. Sayers. My beautiful copy is a Folio Society copy. Um, if you want to see me unbox them all, I will leave a link for you up here and you can watch it. Um, this was first published back in 1927. Unnatural Death, by the way, not the Australian Society book. Um, but Unnatural Death is the third Lord Peter Whimsey novel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it starts with Lord Peter and Inspector Parker, who are having drinks slash food at this cafe bar thing. Um, and they're just having a chat um, really about cases and how people can get blamed for different things and they are overheard by a doctor who's sitting at a table next to them and he kind of joins in their conversation and he talks to them about a case um, where there was an older woman who was poorly she had cancer and he was looking after her uh, this woman had a had no uh, children um, but had a niece um, who was a nurse who came to live with her. There was also another nurse that came to look after her, but that nurse ended up getting fired and another nurse brought in. Um, and the niece was really worried about her aunt. I mean, her aunt had had operations and stuff to try and cope with her cancer. And the doctor was brought in and he was like, yes, yeah, she is very poorly, but she's okay. She's still got time. And then he got called back later to say that she had died. And for all intents and purposes, it looked like a very natural death. There was nothing to suggest otherwise. There was no funny smells, no looks about her, nothing, you know, there was no physical damage. It just looked like a natural death. But he kind of didn't think it was. He thought there was something about it. He thought it was an unnatural death. Get it? And Lord Peter Whimsy and Parker decide that they're going to investigate it and find out what's really happen happening and kind of going on, um, which is wonderful. And they actually place a bet on it as well. Now, this is a different type of murder mystery because it's not really who's done it because they kind of work out who, if it is murder, uh, who it would have done it they worked that out very very early on but trying to work out first of all is it murder has someone been killed because it doesn't look like it at all there's no poison there's no physical um damages to the skin or anything like that um how why etc etc that's the mystery so to speak not the who did it it's all the rest of it that's and the chasing it down that's the kind of interestingness of it i loved the ending of this oh it was like edge of your seat sort of thing um I was I was getting a bit like clammy I was getting panicky I was like what is gonna happen what is gonna happen what is gonna happen I really got into the story and the ending was just brilliant and the the ending ending literally like the very like last couple of pages it was quite I would say a satisfying ending sometimes I think the very very end not the bit where it's wrapping it up the bit that's wrapping it up that was the bit that I was talking about getting all excited and everything the, the bit where it's the aftermath sort of thing um sometimes that feels like it's missing this one felt like it had a very closed ending and I very much enjoyed that as usual it had the typical Dorothy R. Sayers wonderful writing star she is a absolute wonderful writer she writes so beautifully and it's a really well paced book there's no part of this where I felt bored that I wanted to put the book down I just wanted to keep going all the time and I think that's what you need in detective novels um I gave this a four out of five stars I did really enjoy it I mean it's not one of her best it's not up there with strong poison or gaudy night don't get me wrong it's not up there um because it is one of the more forgettable ones. I know that sounds harsh, but it, it, it is. It's not going to stick in your head like Gordy Knight does. But it could have perhaps got a four, out, four and a half out of five stars if it wasn't for language. Now, a lot of books at this point, the way that people talk 
is very different to the way that we talk now and a lot of language that they used back then was absolutely fine we now think of as racist and there's parts of it parts of this and i felt rather uncomfortable get to be honest i don't like to read language that is racist um yeah it, may, it just makes your stomach go over a little bit doesn't it so like, oh it's just it's not needed i know it's a different time and they spoke differently and it's just yeah it's just uncalled for and unnecessary um but it's it's there it's there it was written in 1927 um she can't go back because she's dead um but she can't go back and rewrite write it um but yeah if it wasn't for that it might have been higher placed but yes it won't be but as i said it's a really really brilliant one it's not the strongest because they go to strong poison strong poison and gaudy night but it is still really really good so yeah go and check it out if you haven't already so that is it for this little review of a natural death by dorothy l says i hope you've enjoyed it if you want to get your hands on a copy i'll leave um a link in the description bar to the butcher price chain i'll leave a nice copy for you down there now chat to me in the comments all things dorothy l says have you read a natural death have you read many sayers i would love to know anyway that's it for this video take care and i shall see you soon for the next one bye for now